Hello everyone, welcome back, and today in exchange for some of your time watching this video, I'd like to provide you with some knowledge about RAM disk servers and why they are important for you to consider when picking out a VPN. The edge they have over regular hard drive servers and how they're better for your privacy. I'll also give you some VPN recommendations that run their servers on RAM disks, so if you're interested or you'd like to check for pricing, you'll find all the links you need in the description down below alongside some discount codes, so be sure to keep an eye out for those as well. Now, if you know anything about VPNs at all, you'll know that they all preach about how they have a no logs policy and how they would never keep any sensitive information about you or your activity. Almost all VPNs make such claims and when investigated, most of them either have no evidence to prove the integrity of their no logs policy and you just have to take their word for it or they end up violating their own privacy policies and get caught red handed. Either way, a no logs policy is not quite enough. It must also be backed up by independent audit reports and RAM disk servers for proper security. And while a solid no logs policy is always good to have, there are still ways that your data can fall into the wrong hands. And even when your provider isn't consciously logging your data, that data doesn't just magically disappear. With typical server setups, hard drives play a major role in the functionality of a server. That hard drive is where your data will be stored. And so if a third party or government decides to seize any of these servers, they'll be able to have their way with all that information. This is where RAM disk servers come in to solve that particular issue with all the inevitably stored data. Unlike hard drives, which hold data until it's manually erased, RAM disk drives will automatically hold on to data only until the server is rebooted, which is usually done quite often when there's maintenance or at the provider's will. Because RAM requires power to store information, so whenever the server is rebooted, all the data will be wiped clean, meaning that there are no physical hard drives to keep your data stored in. And that, combined with a solid no logs policy and some evidence in the form of independent audit reports to prove the safety of their network, all of that makes for a very persuasive privacy policy that will put privacy conscious users at ease. And the providers themselves can also rest assured that their proprietary data is sufficiently protected, majorly reducing the risk of both their own and their users' data from getting compromised. Now, if you're wondering which VPNs run their servers on RAM instead of hard drives, the first of which will be one of the very first providers to actually implement RAM-only servers, and that'll be ExpressVPN with their trusted server technology. According to Express's explanation of their own technology, you can think of traditional server administration as a game of Tetris. Each piece gets loaded in one at a time, the operating system, the VPN software, security patches, and so on. But when you're loading pieces across thousands of servers, sometimes something unexpected happens. A piece might be misaligned or go missing altogether, creating a security hole. As more time passes, it becomes increasingly difficult to ensure that all servers are running the exact software and configuration they should be. With trusted server, instead of being loaded piece by piece, the entire block is loaded at once. And when we need to add a new piece, like a security patch, we just replace the entire block. Express also have three independent audit reports to back up their privacy policy claims and to make sure that their network is always as safe as it can be. And to even add to that, in 2017, one of their servers was seized by the Turkish government as part of an investigation. However, the investigators were not able to find or extract any information from the servers. This incident serves as the ultimate proof of their no logs policy. ExpressVPN runs this technology on all their servers, which amounts to over 3,000 servers in 160 locations in 94 countries. And to further fortify their security protocols, each time one of their servers is rebooted, it requires a cryptographic signature from ExpressVPN. Otherwise, it will not boot up. Even if a server was compromised, there is no way for it to be operational without the signature, which can only be provided by ExpressVPN. So you can rest assured that Express is always two steps ahead when it comes to security and privacy. Express is available on almost all devices and supports up to five simultaneous connections per subscription. The second VPN provider that run their servers on RAM is Surfshark, which is another VPN industry giant that made a full switch to RAM only servers in the summer of 2020. And while their server structure and methodology may not be as sophisticated as ExpressVPN, running these servers on RAM is a great feat in and of itself. Surfshark also allowed an independent audit to take place on their browser extension in late 2018, which resulted in very good standing. 
Surfshark run their diskless servers on over 3,200 servers across 65 countries, and they use the standard 256-bit encryption with a handful of protocols, including the powerful WireGuard protocol. Surfshark will also allow their users to secure an unlimited number of simultaneous devices with one subscription, which makes it the only VPN that allows for that. Another highly recommended VPN would be Private Internet Access. According to Private Internet Access themselves, all VPN services and other system-critical meta services are deployed to memory using RAM disks. This means that all sensitive information is lost if the server loses power in case it is seized. Besides being confined to memory, all the aforementioned services are also as isolated as possible. Additionally, SSH connections to and from our servers have man in the middle or MITM protection. Besides that, PIA is packed with security features, especially when it comes to protocol customization, as well as other features like custom DNS and dedicated IP. PIA has the largest network of 32,000 of VPN and proxy servers spread across 101 locations in 78 countries, and they're all supported by the WireGuard protocol. PIA will also allow users to secure up to 10 simultaneous connections per subscription. For full details on each of the VPNs mentioned today, I strongly recommend checking out the reviews which I'll link down below. There you'll be able to get a closer look at the privacy policies and other security features of each VPN in order to really know what you're getting yourself into before buying any of them. But if you'd rather get straight into pricing or discounts, you'll also find those links in the description as well. So if you enjoyed this video or learned something, consider leaving a rating and subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest news and updates of all things VPNs and cybersecurity. Let me know which VPN you end up getting and why. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments as well. Besides that, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.